the face and the voice for hundreds of former University of Michigan athletes who claimed that they were abused for years by the late Dr. Robert Anderson. And they have uh, filed a multi-million dollar lawsuit against the university. They are pursuing uh, damages. They are pursuing accountability. And they are pursuing justice for those that uh, were victimized. It's a heavy burden uh, on this gentleman and uh, his fight is getting harder. We welcome John Vaughn to the Paul W. Smith Show this morning. John, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. Listen, the, the question is, how are you, my friend? You, uh, you've got some, some terrible medical news. Uh, explain to our listeners uh, th- that the burden just got a little heavier. Yeah, um, it looked like uh, my doctor, we found two uh, nodules, one on the right, one on the left in my thyroid. Um, the one on the left uh, was pretty sizable, um, about eight centimeters. And, um, you know, and he's, you know, it was alarming at first because he was, uh, said, you know, in his medical history and being a doctor, um, for the last 30, 40 years, he had never seen one this time. There wasn't cancer. So our plan of treatment is to just, uh, have thyroid surgery and just get my thyroid taken out. And so I met with the surgeon yesterday, um, and he concurred with the doctor. And so that's the next, next step. <laughs> and, um, just to get my thyroid out so that we can examine um, the two nodules that are abnormal mm-hmm. and then, um, you know, move on. Right. Uh, so you haven't had them biopsied yet, but there's a presumption that, that, that they are malignant. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> because of the size, um, it would be hard to biopsy. And when they're that, that large, you tend to have false negatives which would then create, you know, greater problems. And so mm-hmm. um, we just decided that the best course of action would be to remove my thyroid completely. How uh, how did you diagnose that you had a problem? What was the first warning sign, and how quickly did you act upon those concerns? Um, it would have been the beginning of November. It was like a Friday and we were doing a uh, camp in with some students where a number of students brought about 10 or 15 tents out and and protested us, protested with us um, on a Friday evening. I woke up that morning and just felt a lump on my neck, um, which I thought possibly was my lymph nodes like I was maybe catching a cold or something and I started to go on horse a little bit and um you know the scary thing is I had never you know consciously put off the doctor but subconsciously I hadn't gone to the doctor in years and um I put it off till Monday and um I was like, okay, because I'm hearing all these stories from other players. You know, Chuck Christian is next to me, and he's like, John, don't don't put it off like I did. And that just kind of hit me. Um, I immediately went to Beaumont Hospital to, um, you know, check into the ER just to get it taken look, you know, take a look at it, and you know. Then that was kind of when we did all the scans and, you know, CT scans and whatnot. Mm -hmm. That's what we found. So I think I was lucky enough to, um, you know, my tent mate was Chuck Christian, and uh, that really helped. Right. Um, And and you don't really think about the, um, but you subconsciously, I just avoided doctors and, you know, I've always been a really healthy person, so you know maybe a cold here or there, but right. Um, you know, I mean, after what happened to you guys, I I think any anybody would would appreciate the fact that you would put off medical procedures, that your trust in doctors 
was irrevocably broken. And 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 you're right. It is lucky that Chuck Christian was next to you because, in Chuck's case, if, unless I, I misunderstand his circumstances, he did put off going to the doctor when he had some some terrible warning signs, and now he has terminal prostate cancer. A- absolutely, and um, you know you you. I mean, he's definitely one of my heroes because. His attitude and strength is amazing, and his outlook on life is amazing. But we've had some very intimate conversations about the warning signs for him and putting it off and, you know, even dealing for those nine years that he put it off, rethinking, you know, all this trauma. He's like, I was just never going back to the doctor, you know, and... um, it's amazing how many stories that I've heard like that over the last, sure. um, you know, I think it'll be 10 weeks um, on Friday. So, you know, you never really think about the trauma after the trauma. It's something that, you know, I've had to learn about over, you know, in the last year and a half. But specifically, you know, it's a challenge, but... Um, you know, there are issues and problems in life, right? And this right. is definitely a problem. And in problems, you attack. You know, we were ambushed, so we're going to attack the ambush. And I think, you know, the awesome blessing is that you have the, some of the best doctors in the world here at uh, the University of Michigan Medical Center. So, right. I, um, and those are those yeah. are doctors that you can trust. Thank God. Um, yeah, absolutely, and, and you have to get through that too, right? Sure, John. Yeah, it was before terrifying. I lose you here, I and first of all, we we wish you nothing but the best, and you are in our prayers as you, as you battle this, and uh, we're praying for the doctors to heal you. Um, and, and I know Thank that the, the struggle goes on in the Anderson case. Where are we in reaching a resolution there? If you could just give us a quick thirty second update. Um, I know the attorneys are um, actively involved in mediation. I think this will be the last time uh, this week um, that that a wrap up. Um, I think we are uh, as victims. We're still waiting to be able to have a interactive dialogue with the board of regents and the office of the president. Right. Um, so right now it's in the hands of the attorneys, and we let the attorneys do the attorney things and we're just out here trying to spread awareness but also get the respect that we feel that we were due when we were brought into this university understood john and and we know that stress can retard healing and it certainly would reduce the stress on you uh if we could get a resolution and a settlement in this case you can move on with uh the other fight against this what appears to be thyroid cancer bless you merry christmas have a wonderful New Year, John, and uh, we love you, and we're, we're praying for your, your quick recovery. Take care. I appreciate it. Happy holidays to you, too, as well.